Thank you, Don. Since 1997, the Greater Baltimore Committee has honored individuals and organizations who have significantly contributed to the betterment of the Greater Baltimore region. The award's been presented to regional leaders for their vision and their role in improving the region. Previous honorees have included Willard Hackerman and Whiting Turner Contracting Company, the Baltimore Ravens, Kirchmoke, Carla Hayden, and of course, last year's recipient, Diane Bell McCoy of Associated Black Charities. This year's Regional Visionary Award recognizes four anchor institutions of Greater Baltimore for their extraordinary collaboration and sharing of their knowledge and talents in addressing the COVID-19 pandemic in our region, our country, and internationally. Together, they've set our region apart from others nationwide. And therefore, the Greater Baltimore Committee is very proud to present its 2021 Regional Visionary Award to the University of Maryland Medical System, Johns Hopkins Medicine, the University of Maryland Baltimore, and Johns Hopkins University. During this extraordinary crisis, two organizations were traditionally friendly rivals, the University of Maryland Medical System and Johns Hopkins Medicine, have come together in unprecedented ways to confront a common problem. They agreed to leverage their joint resources as part of a unified COVID-19 pandemic response effort. And key to this effort has been the collaborative efforts of the Baltimore Area COVID-19 Public-Private Partnership, which supports both communication and data-driven decision-making. Major accomplishments of the collaboration include in April 2020, the University of Maryland Medical System joined with the State of Maryland and Johns Hopkins Medicine to open a field hospital in the Baltimore Convention Center to care for patients with COVID-19. Later, that field hospital was expanded to become a testing site and to provide outpatient treatment with monoclonal antibody therapy. In February of 2021, the site began providing vaccines and to date, more than 100,000 vaccines have been administered. Also in May 2020, the University of Maryland Medical System joined with Baltimore City officials to establish the Lord Baltimore Triage, Respite and Isolation Center to limit the spread of COVID-19 among those in particularly high-risk settings and with vulnerable populations. And to date, through a partnership with Johns Hopkins Medicine and the city, more than 2,000 residents have received care at that site. In addition, the University of Maryland Medical System, Johns Hopkins Medicine, and Care First Blue Cross formed a public-private partnership with Baltimore City to assist with responding to the pandemic, such as establishing a dashboard for uniform reporting and a call center. And most recently, the partnerships played a key role in regional and state COVID vaccination strategies, providing vaccinations to communities, healthcare workers, and school teachers. We are most honored to have the presidents of both institutions accept the awards. On behalf of the University of Maryland Medical System is Dr. Mohan Santha, and on behalf of Johns Hopkins Medicine is Kevin Sachs. First, let me start by thanking Mary Ann Scully for the kind introduction and importantly for recognizing the team members that make up the University of Maryland medical system. We believe that throughout this crisis, we have leaned into the COVID challenge and demonstrated to our communities, our city, our state, our region and the nation, the value associated with academic medicine. We're very proud of our partnership with the University of Maryland, Baltimore, and specifically the University of Maryland School of Medicine, as well as our foundational partnerships that we've established with our city and state colleagues. In addition, I wanna recognize our partners across town at Johns Hopkins Medicine and thank them. Importantly, I wanna send a message of gratitude to the 29,000 team members that make up the University of Maryland medical system who have leaned into this challenge and taken on the most critical nature 
of our response to COVID. We have together demonstrated the value of discovery-based medicine, and in doing so, I believe that we have served our foundational mission well. So again, on behalf of our entire health system, let me say thank you to the GBC for recognizing our organization in partnership with others as we have demonstrated how we lean into a challenge and how collectively we move forward together. Thank you, Marianne. You know, perhaps it's poetic justice during a time when our society has struggled to overcome ideological divisions, along comes a pandemic to remind us of how connected we truly are. As leaders, we should seek to role model the behaviors which we would like to see perpetuated. And it has been a pleasure to partner with my colleagues to lead the public-private partnership to support our collective ability to protect the health and safety of the communities that we serve. I would like to thank all of the people of Johns Hopkins Medicine for continuing to fulfill our tripartite mission of patient care, research, and education while in the midst of the greatest public health crisis in modern history. Dr. Jim Fickey, Dr. John Efron, and Vice President Jim Nichols for your work in partnership with our colleagues from University of Maryland to stand up the Baltimore Convention Center Field Hospital. Dr. Gabe Kellen, Dr. Lisa Maragakis, and Rob Carter for leading the Johns Hopkins Medicine Command Center and working across all of our organizations to that assure our policies and efforts are aligned. To Dr. Mohan Santa, Brian Pinnock, Mayor Brandon Scott, Secretary Schrader, and Governor Hogan, I also say great thanks to each and every one of you for the support you have provided to this partnership. And I'd like to thank our colleagues from across the region for opening up to collaboration so that we could all care for COVID patients, stand up testing sites, provide max vaccinations without inundating any one facility. I think we'd all agree that our collective future is more important than any one of us. And as we turn this important corner in the pandemic, with vaccination providing the light of hope, may we continue to make the decisions necessary to ensure a healthy future for all of us. On behalf of the entire Johns Hopkins Medicine team, we humbly thank you for this award. Our region is also fortunate to be blessed with highly recognized medical research facilities, the University of Maryland, Baltimore and Johns Hopkins University. Locally, UMB stood up a vaccine clinic on its campus and focused on hard to reach populations through partnerships with the Indian Health Service and the Baltimore Latinx community. UMB also transformed a University of Maryland School of Medicine research lab into a testing center, supported testing and vaccinations at the Baltimore Convention Center, and graduated nursing students early to support COVID-19 care. Nationally, the School of Medicine Center for Vaccine Development and Global Health hosted clinical trials of the Pfizer, Moderna, and Novavax vaccines. Internationally, the Institute for Human Virology has built upon its HIV-focused infrastructure in Africa to now support COVID-19 needs. Meanwhile, Johns Hopkins University has been at the forefront of advancing the world's understanding of COVID-19, saving lives locally and globally. As the leading source of centralized data on the pandemic, the Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center harnesses expertise from across both Johns Hopkins University and Johns Hopkins Medicine. It's been named one of Time Magazine's best inventions of 2020, and the Coronavirus Resource Center has surpassed 1 billion page views in its first year. Its data and analysis help the public and policymakers respond to the pandemic. And experts from the university's Bloomberg School of Public Health have provided regular briefings on the pandemic for city leaders and partnered to implement Baltimore's contact tracing and care coordination. JHU students have to date logged more than 2,000 hours as non-clinical volunteers at the MT Bank Stadium Mass Vaccination Clinic. 
And to date, more than 2,400 Baltimore City teachers and staff have been vaccinated through a partnership with Johns Hopkins University and Johns Hopkins Medicine. We are joined today by Dr. Ju Bruce Gerald, president of the University of Maryland, Baltimore, and Ron Daniels, president of Johns Hopkins University to accept the Regional Visionary Award. On behalf of the University of Maryland, Baltimore, I'm honored to accept the Regional Visionary Award from the Greater Baltimore Committee. I am incredibly proud of the impact that the University of Maryland, Baltimore has made in the past year. I am proud of our research and clinical care effort. I am certainly proud of our effort to continue UMB's educational mission by continuing to graduate our professional and graduate students in the health and social sciences, as well as by helping young scholars in our West Baltimore community get online and continue their education. Finally, I am particularly proud of our efforts to support our West Baltimore community in need, including helping to vaccinate them. Our School of Medicine Center for Vaccine Development has played a major role in this effort. They have led trials of the mRNA vaccine constructs developed by Pfizer and Moderna. They just completed enrollment in the Novavax trial, and they're now engaged in pediatric vaccine trials as well. The UMB community is strong, resilient, and committed to our mission to improve the human condition and serve the public good. Thank you, Marianne, for those kind words, and thank you to our partners at the Greater Baltimore Committee for this award. On behalf of all of us at Johns Hopkins, I'm truly honored to have our university and health systems recognized alongside the University of Maryland Medical System and University of Maryland Baltimore for our work throughout the past year. Since the earliest days of the COVID-19 pandemic, I have been awe-inspired by the work of our people and partners across the city, from our frontline clinicians and healthcare workers who leapt into action to treat patients afflicted by the virus, to our faculty and researchers who studied and tracked the disease and shared their knowledge with the world, to the scores of volunteers who have helped distribute more than 6 million meals to our neighbors in need and who are now assisting with vaccinations. I have never been prouder to be part of an institution so devoted to research, education, and unyielding care for our communities each and every day, and especially during times of crisis. Thank you again to the GBC for this wonderful recognition. And thank you, thank you to all our partners across Baltimore for their determination and collaboration in sustaining our neighbors and the city we all call home. So congratulations to the 2021 Regional Visionary Award winners, outstanding organizations doing outstanding work and service to our community. Thank you.